Hi guys, Rafflecraft MC, and here I'm with a mo doing a mod review for a very new mod. It's called the Fusion Plus mod, and right now, at time recording, it's in ver version 0.5. What that means is it's um, yeah, very new. I actually been helping him, the mod developer, with some suggestions, etc., etc. And if you're wondering why I have later this chest back here with more recipes is because I actually built this for version 1. Point, sorry, I built this for version 0.3, but it had one fatal error. The fire swords crashed the game, so they were been removed, but so yeah. So first I'm going to show you the recipes. A lot of this mod is based off of these infusers. That's an infuser. That's the cobblestone infuser. Armor guard. It's the cobblestone infuser. Where is it? I can't believe I lost it. Redstone, no. Decoration bl blocks, no. Yeah, cobblestone infuser, right there. Armor gird, it's an infuser. Okay, so yeah, so you just surround, you just build this the X shape with cobblestone, and then put redstone dust surrounding it. I just used ore for the demonstration. It makes the infuser. Now you're wondering, I've just obsessed about these infusers. What do they do? Well. If you surround the infuser with the material of that you're trying to that the infuser do, does in this case cobblestone, it makes the next tier. So the co a cobble infuser plus cobble equals coal. Hooray! You have coal dust, or yeah, or or whatever coal is. Then you do the same thing with coal. You surround coal with redstone dust. You make a coal infuser. Oh my God, that's so amazing! When you surround coal with a coal infuser with coal, you get iron. Now this is where it starts getting good. The iron infuser, you only need one piece of iron instead of five, so that's pretty decent. And yeah, and then you surround that the iron infuser, you get gold. Now, when I was building this, I actually forgot to make the gold infuser, but as you can guess, gold infuser, very simple. Okay, so now this is where it gets good. You surround a gold infuser with gold, and you get diamonds. And now, when you sur surround a diamond with the with redstone, you get a diamond infuser. Now you're wondering, but well, why? Why would you need a diamond infuser? Well, first of all, I'm I think it can be used to cr c craft emeralds. I'm not sure. Uh, no, it can't be used to craft emeralds would have been cool if it, you could, and, but um, the other thing it uses is it's used for these new tools. I'll show you what I mean in a second. And now there's two other items that are really you need to know how to make, which is the empty energy crystal, just surround, just a glass thing, it's no big deal. And I forgot to fill that in, so let me just spawn two of those in, empty energy crystal, and then eight, you take the empty energy crystal surround that with redstone and it makes a charged energy crystal. I just ran out of room so I just wrote energy crystal. Hooray! Now what else does this mod adds? It adds emerald tools, so I'm just going to show you the basis with the sword. It adds emerald infusers, which are used for the weapons. And then it adds these sharpened emerald swords. And sharpened emerald and sharp sharpened tools in general. It also adds, if I could show you guys, these flame swords. But like I said, they sort of glitched down and broke the game, so they're sort of disabled. Now, the sharpened tools have deal more damage than usual, so I'm going to show you a weapons demonstration in a second. Let me just get all the weapons set up. Uh, let's do that one. I should have had this set up before I decided to start the mod review. Um, what am I missing? Stone. And then let's just put that over there. For now. So the zombies d all decided to volunteer very nicely of nice of them for um, the weapons demonstration. Just so I can show you guys again, the sharpened tools recipe is you put a charged energy crystal above the sword, surround it with flint and then put in the, that type of infuser beneath it. The, this, work, all, this would be the same for flame swords, but instead of, but instead of flint, you would use a flint steel. So, 
kind of cool. So I have what? So the emerald sword is slightly more powerful than the diamond sword, but it has less durability. I'm not quite sure how little, but it that three hit it, and that also three, and that four hit it. I thought it was supposed to three hit it anyway. So yeah, the wood sword one, two, three, four, five. If five hit that zombie versus a one, two, two, three, four, five, six hit, so just a bit better. Diamond one, two, three. It's gonna be the same three, but it does more damage. Okay, apparently the fire swords don't break the game since I spawned those in. Um, cool. I didn't even mean to spawn in the fire swords. Uh, the fire effect is probably what broke it, so the swords are just included in the game. So I'm just gonna... So yeah, all the weapons do slightly more damage. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the fire sword recipe now, since I wasn't expecting... them. To, I thought he completely removed them from this version of the mod. So let me just get a crafting bench. Um, emerald infuser, emerald sword, energy crystal, and then flint and steel, where's flint and steel, there it is, so then you just put flint and steel on the sides, and that would make the fire swords, but like I said, they're disabled, so you can't actually make them, I guess he just included the code or he didn't make a fire emerald sword. I'll show you with the gold sword. Uh, flint, flint, and that would be the recipe, guys. They're just completely disabled. And lastly, in the Nether, although they're not currently generating, you can find infusers for things such as coal. That is the only Nether infuser right now and to show you guys what this is the difference between nether rack because it looks sort of similar just like the nether ores mod it just has those ores and i'll come out of creative mode to show you i need a pickaxe of some kind let's use an emerald one and hope that this block is breakable you break it it drops the coal infuser ore and then you find a furnace. I think I have one over here to show you the last part of this mod. No, I don't. I thought I was much more prepared. Sorry, guys. A furnace. Here is the furnace. Watch it, because I passed it like three times. There's a furnace. And let's get a lava bucket, because that burns for like forever my life easier. So you put that in, put the lava bucket in, and then I, I guess, yeah, I don't know how to get the coal infuser out actually, but the other part that I wanted to show you is, let's say you made, you surrounded the emerald with an emerald, with, and turned into an infuser, but you didn't want that, you can smelt the infuser or whatever it is off of it, so it just becomes a normal emerald at the cost of the redstone. Now this mod is kind of redstone intensive, so it actually gives me use to that. And you might notice the game just said I paused it, or whatever, because I'm looking to see if you can use the the, ore infu the coal infuser. No, you can't. So, like I said, the mod is still in a very early development phase, and that's why um, a lot of this stuff seems like it's not working, or it's not implemented, or because this is a very early phase, but I plan on doing an update to this mod review once it gets further in development. And also, in case any of you have made comparisons or similarities or whatever between this and Equivalent Exchange on how you can turn your old items into newer items by upgrading it using these infusers, it is sort of similar to Equivalent Exchange, but the mod developer just needed a quick way to get diamonds and other tools and other things in order for these infusers. The goal is to have necklaces, crazy things that infuse fire swords, ice swords, all sorts of variables, all made with these infusers. 
It's gonna be a, it's supposed to be a pretty cool large content mod, and I hope to see this included in mod packs, etc. And I also hope to see if this mod is um actually used and not just like you know, like it's just gonna be that oddity. I want it to become a cool mod, something that might be included in the tech pack. Although I guess equivalent exchange takes that, and this isn't really multiplayer yet. But so guys. Thanks for watching, hope to see you in my next video, and this has been a mod review.